So for the new $5 bill, if you hold it up to the light, you can see a column of five on this side and a larger five on this side. And this protects against counterfeiting because it can't be copied. The enlarged off-center portrait is also a measure against counterfeiting because it allows for more detail. <coughs> and the public is also um, benefiting from this because low vision people have a better way of seeing which bill they're using. Another low vision feature is the $5, or the 5 in the back, or the other bills with their denomination. Um, the dark on the light background allows people to see it better. Um, a security thread is also seen when you hold it up to the light. Each denomination has the security thread at different areas of the bill. And it protects against counterfeiting because it um, is not copied with reflected light, which is used in the standardized copiers. The security thread is also glowing at different, under the UV light. So for this denomination, it will glow blue. Microprint is also another way to deter counterfeiting. Um, you see just the line, but under the magnifier, it's also little letters, which can be picked up on a copier. Other features is just the paper itself. It's unchanged. Um, the paper is 75% cotton, 25% linen. So if you ever wonder why your bills survive through a load of laundry or a dryer, it's because it's fabric and it's durable. So now that I've shown the different and features of securing the U.S. currency, let's discuss how to detect a counterfeit bill. Um, the measures used to deter counterfeiting um, make it harder to fake, but also easier to check at the same time. According to a CNN interview with John Large, which is a Secret Service agent, he um, says you compare a suspicious bill with one that you know is real, or you can look at the images and feel it. It's embossed, it doesn't feel flat, and you look at the serial number. Each bill has a different serial number, so if you see two bills with the same number, it's definitely fake. You also can hold it up to the light and look for the watermarks and the security thread. So, Checking your money is important because you need to know if you have a fake one or not because it's your loss if you do have a fake one. And the law states that if you make counterfeits or you pass them on knowingly, then it's up to $5,000 fine or 15 years in jail for both. So today I talked about the history of the U.S. currency, the past methods is for counterfeiting and the security features in the redesigned bill along with methods to detect a fake counterfeit. So luckily counterfeiting has been kept at low levels due to the security features that we have, good law enforcement and educating the public about how to spot counterfeits, but it's still present. So next time you get a bill that's of value to you, make sure you check it or it's better than lighting it up. <laughs> So Carla, you here? Mm -hmm. What did you think? Um, I liked how she knew all information, and like, her, like she actually did like her attention pieces was like her story. So it's like she knew she was gonna know all information about her like trip. The only thing I think um, she needed to work on was like her PowerPoint because she didn't know how to. Try to Ouch. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> she didn't know how to like to um, go to the next slide like without stalling and things. But other than that, I liked that. Okay.